What's up you guys, welcome to XJ Jesse's channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the front and rear brake pads and rotors on a GS350 which is very similar to an IS200T and an IS350. So let's get to it. Loosen the wheel lug nut using a 21mm socket. If you don't have a breaker bar, you can slide the floor jacks handle over the ratchet to give you more leverage. Place some wheel chucks on the rear tires for safety. Raise the vehicle up with a floor jack and support it on jack stands. Place a 2x4 on the floor jack to protect the frame. You can lift both sides or work on one side at a time. You can leave the floor jack underneath for extra support. Start the car and turn the wheel to get better access to the bolts. Use a needle nose pliers to rotate the retainer pin and remove the clip that secures it. Use a slim screwdriver or a drill bit to push out the retainer pin. While the brake pads are on, use a screwdriver to compress the pistons and then slide them off. Put a wheel lug nut on the rotor to keep it from rotating and use a flathead screwdriver to compress the pistons. They have to be evenly flat. Put a microfiber towel over the screwdriver so it won't damage the rotor if you don't plan on replacing it. Remove the two 17mm caliper bolts. Them electric tools be coming in clutch. But you can also remove the bolts the traditional way, like a man. I'll show you guys. Spray brake cleaner on the back and in the front of the rotors to remove any oil from the surface. Spray some brake cleaner on the towel and white clean the caliper pistons. Add some blue thread locker on the bolts to prevent it from coming loose from vibration. Torque down to 58 foot pounds. I still had to adjust the caliper pistons.
Clean the retainer pins with a wire brush. Torque down the wheels at 80 foot pounds using a star pattern. Move the wheel checks to the front of the wheels. Place a jack pad on the floor jack to protect the frame. You can lift both wheels from the differential and place some jack stands. I didn't do this because the car behind me was parked too close for the jack to fit. Use some locking pliers to keep the guide pins from rotating when loosening the bolts. Pay attention on how the hardware is installed. Loosen the caliper bracket bolts. Remove the rubber plug on the rotor or push it in so you can adjust the parking brake shoes. You want the parking brake shoes to be loose so you can remove the rotors. I'm not able to show you guys this part since I have one wheel up I can't rotate the rotors to get to the adjuster. But after slightly loosening the adjuster you use a M8 by 125 bolt and 30 millimeter length to remove the rotor. Turn the star adjuster up to shorten the spine and therefore backing off the brake shoes. Turn the adjuster down to expand the shoes out. Install new brake hardware and clean the bracket. Clean and lubricate the guide pins. Get an old brake pad and use a brake spreader to compress the piston.
Before driving, pump the brakes a few times until pressure builds up. All right, you guys, if y'all found this video helpful, please select the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Late.